Welcome to Scorpio Tiger's Tarot. I am Scorpio Tiger and I am here to do a reading for the sign of Leo. A weekly reading for the sign of Leo. Welcome and welcome back. Thank you for coming to my channel. Um, I, I do apologize for not getting those uh, weekend reads out this weekend, but that Capricorn moon was tearing me up, okay? Capricorn is the energy of uh, cleaning out the closet, okay? Uh, taking care of all your business, crossing your T's, dying your eyes. You might see dirt on the wall, start washing your walls and windows and stuff. It, it's that kind of energy, okay? It is exactly how them Capricorns are, so that's what... Yeah, I just I didn't make it to get to I didn't get to the cards this weekend, but here I am. I am here to do your your weekly read, your weekly read. And see that moon still messing with me, got me stuttering and stuff. Ooh. But it'll be over at 6:38 tonight, February 27, 2022. It's going to be over. Cuz we're moving into the Aquarius, the the, the moon Oh my goodness gracious, we're moving into the energy of the Aquarius moon there. I got it out. My goodness gracious. Okay, and the Aquarius moon talks about uh, it, it's it's an its influence is about us uh tapping into new energies, new ideas, new business ventures. So Capricorn is the energy of planning and strategizing and getting things in order and then Aquarius says, hey, let's go do this. So it's, it's a wonderful, uh, wonderful moon to be in going into the, the week, you know. Yes, new fresh ideas are going to pop into your head, thinking out the box. So this should be a great work week with that Aquarius moon, okay. I'm going to do something different this time. I'm going to do the uh, advice first, and then I'm going to do the tarot, okay. Just something different. I just wanted to switch it up. All right. The Leo Collective. What's the advice you have for a Leo Collective? For this week of February 27th. Okay. Okay. Peaceful resolution. I think that should show up in all Leo's readings. <laughs> communicate, communicate clearly. Okay. And be assertive. Okay. Like Leo's need to be told that. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Let's see what your overall energy is, Leo. Is my cards upside down? Yes, they are. Okay. Looks like there's going to be some joy this week. Let's get the reading for the Leo Collective. Remember that this is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. I love how your cards are flopping up out of here like that, though, Leo. Good stuff. We have the Empress. Somebody may be pregnant. They have a lucky card, a page of cups. The Empress also represents the seasons of spring and summertime. So don't panic, Leo. <laughs> You're not pregnant. <laughs> you may not be, I don't know. Uh, the page of wands in reverse. I gotta look that up. I forgot what that was. The Leo. That was coming off. I'm going to put that upright. Goodness gracious. Okay. We got Scorpio Pisces Capricorn. I mean, Scorpio Pisces. Uh, Scorpio Pisces Cancer energy here. Oh, somebody's obsessed or addicted to something. What's really going on? And holding on. Oh, my. 
and determined. That's almost some scary energy right there. What's going on with the Leo Collective? What's really going on? Oh my goodness, stressing you out, got you losing sleep. What's going on with you? Oh, memories of the past. Okay. But you have the ace of wands at the end of the at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, telling you that you uh You can have everything you wish for. Now let's just take a look at this. It could be like, the Empress could be saying, hey, this spring, summer, it's going to be an offer coming in. And what is this page of wands? In reverse. Indecision. You're not going to know what to do. And you're going to seek balance with that King of Cups there. Mm hmm Because somebody's coming in with an offer. That Page of Cups is an offer. Somebody coming in. And you're just like, I really don't think I want to have a relationship right now. Yeah, you're not interested in this relationship. Or it says it could be some evil news, too. But the Page of Cups is an offer coming in. And it's supposed to be a lucky card. So, you know, you're just not interested with that Page of Wands. That's all I see. Indecision. You're not really, you're not really into it right now. And then the King of Cups is here. Like, uh, you're trying to gain some balance, you know, between your head and your heart. And you need to make a decision, but you really don't know which way to go right now. Hmm. Because of some addictions, I don't know. And you're holding on. And determined, or is this that other person? Somebody's obsessed with you and they're holding on to you. And um, they're determined to get you. Because they can't forget about what you guys had. Wow. Leo. Give me a clarifier for um, that uh, page of wands in reverse. Can I get a clarifier for that page of wands in reverse? Thank you. Okay, it's just saying that you're moving forward. Like I said, you don't you don't want that offer. Yeah, with that six of swords, you you don't want it. Okay, the devil. Who is this? Is this the Seeker, is this the Leo or? Okay. It's the person. Somebody who wants to get back with you. They want a renewal with the judgment. And they're like, uh, yeah. Yeah, um, I want you back. And they're holding on tight for dear life. The Knight of Swords talks about having pure determination. And, and it's stressing them out because they can't get you off their mind, Leo. I'll confirm it. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Can I get a clarifier for the Nine of Swords? Why is that here? Clarify it for the Leo Collective. Thank you. Yeah. They're praying about it. They praying about it. They like, oh my goodness, I, I gotta get her back. I gotta get him back. That's a bit much. The six of, of cups. Thank you. Yeah, it's over, and they know it's over. Or this is the Scorpio energy. This person from your past is a Scorpio. That's that's uh.
that's wishing that they had you and they in prayer about you. They want you back, Leo. Yeah, because this is a, a, a reunion. Somebody's obsessed with you about a reunion. Holding on, determined to get you back, but it's stressing them out. I think that tower is saying that that's a, a Scorpio from your past that's, hold, that's holding on to you. And praying that you take them back. Wow. Look at you. Focusing on your money. Doing yourself healing. Yeah. You got your guardian angels. Praying over yourself. I mean praying in prayer with God. 